Let's see what this does. Apart from an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. Dry stones line the wall. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light.
focus on. a break. hiding here.
something good here. I hope. That will fit in my pack. Let's get this over with. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Softer than a whisper. On my way. Go again. Just out of view. Time to press ahead. Slow down. I see a way.
wonder if the gods are watching me. What's down there? You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. No. No, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking, and ready to kill. Last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your... Well, <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. Indeed it could. These are very helpful in a fight. Of course, I can't summon wolves or turn to mist like a true vampire. Being a spawn has its drawbacks. I wouldn't say that. Even the most powerful vampires in history couldn't survive in the sun. 
But it seems I can. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. No more surprises. You have my word. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire among us? So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Fine. He stays till he's no longer of use. Besides, my flesh is not so easily tasted. Unless, of course, I have offered it. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You can sense something dark about this tone. Something profane. Irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. dart beneath your eyes, warping and twisting. Your head throbs, but you almost understand. The world around you is gone. You can only see those glyphs, only hear those voices. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. The glyphs scream, branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone. Your future thrumming with power. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you, you should never have known. Historian, but give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. 